and welcome to dinner tonight. I'm Tanya Davis, County Extension Agent with Texas AgriLife Extension Service. Today's menu idea is baked catfish, or should I say baked tilapia. No matter what you choose, the tilapia or catfish, both will be a healthful yet tasty dish for your family. This quick and easy recipe will take approximately 40 minutes from start to completion. So let's get started with our breading mixture. In this dish, I've got one cup of breadcrumbs. If you would like a little bit more seasoning, you can always purchase the seasoned breadcrumbs. Just be aware of the fact if you do that, it's going to raise the sodium content of the dish. To, that, to this, I'm going to add two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. That's going to give it just a little more zip in flavor. Remember, we're uh, taking away the fried catfish or fried tilapia and we're um, adding, we're baking it. So we want to give some extra rich flavor so our family will like it. Next, we're going to add another flavor and this is one teaspoon of dried basil. If your family is one that likes the fresh herbs, that's just fine. Go ahead and double up on the amount. You would want to do two teaspoons of fresh basil versus the one teaspoon here, along with a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, so we're just gonna mix this around a little bit. It's a very simple breading mixture. We'll get this all mixed up, and then on to the next item to mix up is our dipping mixture. In this bowl, I've got one quarter cup of low-fat buttermilk. The buttermilk versus the milk in this situation because we want, remember we're wanting to add added flavor so we won't miss uh, the fried catfish that so many of us love. To that we're going to add one beaten egg and mix that all up and your dipping mixture is just about ready. Set the dip aside and uh, bring back in our breading mixture because we're getting ready to get the fish prepared for baking. Today, for the sake of time, we're just going to be preparing one filet, but know that this recipe will serve four persons. All right, so there we go. Just dip it into the dip mixture, the milk, it's the milk and egg. Get it coated on there real good. And next comes the breading mixture. You want to make sure to get it well coated because it's got all those good flavors that our family's going to enjoy. All right. And then we're going to place it, once we get it ready, we're going to place it in a baking dish that's been um, already sprayed with the nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to add just a few crumbs on top here because I want a really good flavor to pop out. Okay, So we're going to put this in um, a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. When we're uh, preparing or baking our fish, we sure want to be careful and not overcook it. Fish generally, the tilapia was kind of a whitish pink and the catfish is going to be kind of a grayish white color. We want to cook both of them until they're a solid white and then they flake with a fork. We went ahead and uh, prepared a filet ahead of time and so you can tell from the picture that I've got here, that it's just flaking right up. So that indicates that yes, it is done and ready for the family dinner. Remember, this dish will serve approximately four persons for um, a cost of $1.25 per person. I hope the next time you're wondering what's for dinner tonight, you'll remember that Texas AgriLife Extension Service has resources and information that can help you answer that question.